will show you a video of what it looks like when you move a beehive to a new spot. Um, this was about um, about an acre away and on a tree and we brought it here last night um, and the bees, I put a bunch of branches in front of it late at night and the bees got out this morning and you can see they're doing some pretty strong orientation flights. What's really neat is if you look up in the sky, you can see that after they do a figure eight in the front, like they're doing here, then they start doing circles um, up in the air. And so these guys are orienting to their new spot and you can see them flying in big circles all over. And I'm going to head down and see just how many f confused foragers are still down here. So I anticipate <clears throat> there being some of the foragers trying to go back to the tree. Now, a lot of people would be concerned about this and would go to a lot of extra trouble to move the bees over three miles away the first week, let them sit there for a week, and then bring them back onto the property into their new spot, all in an attempt to stop some of the foragers going back to the old spot. I have found that that is not necessary. What I have found is that the day or two after you first move the bees, you will have, even with the brush put in front, you will have bees attempting to return to the old spot. What happens is after hanging out for a while, the closer it gets to dark, the bees decide to um, circle around and find their hive. Now, it's possible that instead of their hive, they'll find somebody else's if you have a neighbor who is close by with bees. And um, the good news is, you can see I've walked about an acre, and here are a bunch of the bees back at the spot trying to figure out where to go. They will circle around. Now, they might not find my exact box that they came from but most likely they're going to go in one of the other five colonies that are over there. And so these bees will not just sit here on this tree tonight and languish. And I will come and do a video to show everybody that there won't be any bees here, that they will have all have gone and found their home. So it's about half an hour after sunset here. We got another 45 minutes of light left. And as you can see, there is no longer a swarm of foragers here trying to find the old trap. They circled around and found the hives behind me. So, summary is, you don't have to worry about moving your bees off-site for a week. They'll figure it out. <laughs>